Good evening, I'm Maurice Dubois. Christine is off tonight. An NYPD officer is out of the hospital after getting slashed in Brooklyn. Police say they fired at the knife-wielding suspect who is now in custody. CBS 2's Ali Bauman with the latest from Coney Island. A 16-inch knife is marked as evidence on West 8th Street, steps away from both the Coney Island boardwalk and the 60th police precinct. It's one of two blades police say a man armed himself with here while blocking traffic just before 1 p.m. A passing cop saw and walked over. The man rushed toward the officer with one of the knives raised. Acting quickly, the officer tactically repositioned, putting distance between himself and the armed man. Witnesses flagged down additional officers from the precinct. One officer gave numerous clear orders to the man to drop the knives. Failing to drop the knives, and as the subject continued to charge at the officers, one officer fired four times, striking the man in the leg and shoulder. I was watching TV, and I heard like four gunshots. Police say the suspect fell to the ground, but continued clutching his knives. He's not letting go of it, and the officer struggled for a very prolonged time to move that, uh, that knife, that long bladed knife, from him. In the struggle, one officer was sliced on his hand. He and the suspect were both taken to Coney Island University Hospital. Just a few hours later, Officer John Favale walks out of the hospital with his hand bandaged, greeted with applause from dozens of cops and Mayor Eric Adams. The dad served with me, a former uh, inspector, commander. Uh, we were captains together. Uh, this is a New York family, a New York story. The police commissioner claims body cam shows the officers acted by the book. I have watched these videos. While we don't yet know the motive behind this attack, we certainly know that the actions of these officers exemplifies what it means to be New York's finest. The suspect is stable at the hospital where he's in police custody. Sources tell us he has no criminal record. Charges are pending for weapons possession and assaulting an officer. In Coney Island, Brooklyn, Ali Bauman, CBS2 News.